I've never seen a festival like this before. That last thing we just saw, it was great. Only gonna get better. Let's do it. We are here in Prague, Prague in the Czech Republic. And we're here for the Signal Festival. It's this really cool, immersive light art festival that takes place over four days in October. Lights, camera, art, let's go, let's do it. Prague, Czech Republic, or Czechia, is a beautiful city located in Central Europe. We went there in October to check out the Signal Festival. Signal Festival is a four-day digital art festival that takes place all around the city, so you can explore different parts of town while you're at it. Some of the indoor installations require a paid ticket, but everything outdoors is absolutely free. The great thing about Signal Festival is that you can explore the city during the day and then walk around at night to check out the art. The artists featured at Signal Festival are from all over the world. The festival connects contemporary visual art, urban space, and modern technology all in one. There are multiple routes in different parts of the city. We're about to check out the opening ceremony on the river, then get started on our first route. My name is Matej Vašánek and I'm head of the program of the Signal Festival in Prague. My personal favorite part of the festival is creating of the festival to think which artists should we bring to Prague and what installations should we present to the people. I'm Samuel, I'm a creative coder, part of Fuse, a team based in Italy that is working at the intersection between art, science and technology. The multiverse is an interpretation of a scientific theory using a generative software that is able to replicate infinite possible universes in a digital way. Basically, there's a level of uncertainty into our universe and the way we feel about it. And we want to make sure that people attending our installation can feel the same way. It was super cool. My favorite one of tonight so far, I think. I think so too. We walked up to it and it seemed like a humble little beehive. It looked <laughs> like you could see the reflection of like the monastery windows. Very cool. On to the next one. The festival is mainstream because it's visited by 600,000 people. Most of the people are not visiting galleries. So we have the opportunity to show them art in the streets and to show them that they can't be afraid to go to galleries and visit some other art. Yeah. It was like a cool piece of mirrored machinery and then as you're looking at it, you're looking at yourself and you feel like you're in it. You never seem to see yourself in the same way. Did not disappoint. It was cool. We're done. We've been walking around for five hours and we're ready to go to bed for day two. And have gnarly crazy dreams about tubular light. Yes! Wow. Dreaming art. People will tell you you gotta drink beer while you're in Prague. That's because the Czech town of Pilsen is a birthplace of Pilsner beer. We went on our own little beer tour during the day before day two of Signal Festival. We got some tips from locals and checked out five spots. If you want to see more, check out the description for the full video. Night two! two. We're so excited. Let's do it. We just were impressed by some lights on that church. Yeah. It was pretty cool. It was awesome. My new favorite. Only going to get better. So, pretty high expectations. My name is Memo Acton. I'm here with an installation called Simple Harmonic Motion for Light. I would describe this as a kinetic light and sound installation. A lot of people think they're lasers, but they're not actually lasers. You see the light beam itself, so it's very sculptural. And sound is a very strong part of the experience. And there's also projection as well. So it's a very unified experience. Signal is a very interesting festival that are focused on light and celebrating light as a medium, as a material. So this is really you know, quite special for people like myself who, who work with light. It's very natural because it's a way of choreographing physical movements in space because it's about how movement happens and responds. It's very natural. There's many, many layers to what the piece is about. People make up their own stories about what it's about, even though they don't know that's what the piece is about. That's the greatest reward.
We're going to a farmer's market along the embankment and I didn't eat breakfast so I'm very hungry and I almost ran into a bull. <laughs> It's Saturday and we were told we had to hit up the Naplapka Farmer's Market. We got a little bit of everything since we wanted to check out all the Czech food. Don't expect a ton of vegetables, but do expect there to be a lot of tasty food. If you want to see everything that we ate in Prague, check out our food tour video. The link is in the description. It's signal day three. Day three! And we are on the Malastrana route, which is on the other side of the river from Old Town and kind of near the Prague Castle. Yeah, I'm excited to see these exhibits. All right, we're going to show you what we're about to see. <laughs> Wait, does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm going to see it anyway. <laughs> The team is revolution because this year we are celebrating 30 years from Velvet Revolution. That was pretty important social and political changes in Eastern Europe. We were together with the artists thinking about what does it mean if there is needed some new revolution or everything is fine. I encourage other people who also might have similar skills, but they're using their skills in other fields, to think about trying to diversify and see what they can do as well. There's great communities out there, and I'd love to see more people getting into this kind of line of work. Working with new technologies have an impact on people, and now these tools also can make artworks that can have a story, that can have a meaning for people that are not really used to these new tools. It was really exciting to see it physically, considering that most of the time we work in a lab or we're working on the laptop, so the transition between completely digital and the digital applied to the real world is the moment when your art is really beating up and the live show is really exciting you the most. I can describe it. You have to come. Come to Prague to visit Signal Festival because it's the best art event in Prague and you can enjoy it with many people all around. Woo! We ended with a bang! <laughs> we saw every single installation. They were all cool in different ways. I think my favorite thing about this festival is that it takes place all over the city. So while you're going to the festival, if you're going to all the installations, you're actually traveling Prague. And I feel like we saw pretty much the entire city just in the course of going to Signal Festival. Three days! But you could pace yourself and do it in four days. Yeah. We recommend October, obviously, since that's when Signal Festival is. But you also get to see the pretty fall colors, get cooler weather, and you can beat some of the tourist crowds. Check out the description for a link to the 2020 festival. We hope you have a good time. Thank you, Signal! Woo!